Okay, I'm back. Let me get my let's see. my other controller. I gotta find. Oh, there you are. Okay, so well, now we're back. Now let's get back to the movie zoo characters. Now these, uh, I got a lot more other characters too, um, but we're gonna do the movie zoo characters because I imported them in there just for this. So. Let me see, I got the fat woman, the fat man. Let's see, is that the fat man? Yeah, fat man. And I have the boy, and I have the girl. The girl still has the skirt on her. I left the skirts on the women. Okay, so let's get the boy. And we're going to enlarge him a little bit, about like that. Okay, there he is. So, let me straighten him up a little bit. Okay. So, if you can see, you can see the skeletons that I uh, rigged into the match characters for movies. There. So I can bend the arms like so. Okay. And you can break it. No, just kidding. And then you got to see the head. Let's see. And then you got the legs and the feet. So yeah. Okay, so we're going to start off by giving him skin color. So let's give him some skin color. For that one. Uh, over here. I'll leave his shoes alone. So let's make sure we have nothing missing here. I know the is a little crooked, but that's fine. Okay, so we got that. Now, let's give them some shoes. We'll just make it brown. You don't have to pick that up. All you have to do is just stick your little ball in there and then push the trigger button and there you are. Now, if you want to make the shoes shiny, you can. And I'll show you how to do that. So, we'll just grab the color and we'll just stick it in uh, this little ball right here. Click on the arrow. All right, so we're going to watch how the shoes... When I do the smoothness, well, I, wait a minute. I gotta. What I have to do is uh, uh, apply it again. So let's do that. So if you look, the shoes are shiny. Pat Mar once when he seen one of my characters. Uh, I guess he thought it was Movie Zoo, and my knights of the round, and how shiny the armors look. Well, that's. That's how I did it. It's, it's right here. So you can see the shoes are shiny. And you can even make a skin shiny if you want. They have a shiny character here. So. Okay. Now. Let's grab this. Let's grab our. Whoops. Uh, what did I do? What did I do? Uh, wait a minute. Let's get rid of that. I, I didn't mean to do that. Let, so let Let's give them some hair. We'll go with this hair. I know it's a woman's hair, but it don't actually have to be. So you grab the hair, and then you just kind of like larger a little bit. Just fit it on there where you think it looks good. Like so. Make sure we got, let's see, uh, some good. Uh, let's see, right about there. And, and these, this right here is your gizmo. So, yeah, this is your gizmo, so you can just, these are the tools for it. I'm leaving it like the way it is, so if you ever get to Bari, and you can just experiment with it. So, you like the scale. So, that looks good. Now, once you get your hair uh, in place the way you like it, and it's going through his neck, so... This this may not uh, suit this character too much, because it is meant for a girl. So we'll just kind of like uh, we'll bring it out a little bit, about like that. No, 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 no. Anyway, like so. But I tell you what, let's 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 go with another. Let's find something else. Uh, let's see. I will go. See what I have over here. Let's see. FPX boy. Okay, that's 
kind of let's see let me see what I got of my character this is this is pieces of my character and sometimes when you have a lot in one folder it does this there it goes so I'm going to use my hair so we'll just use my hair because I think this better suits it for the character here so we'll do it like that well, we just gotta make sure we got it good uh, placement all around so we got this here uh, this hair isn't quite right but it is what it is I'm going with it so once you get the hair on there what you do is like you touch the hair okay because right now the hair is not set uh, is not uh, assigned to the character yet so what we're going to do is we're going to touch it, touch the A button, and then we go to link, touch that, push your trigger, hold down on it, and you can take that and add it right to the head bone. Like that. Now let's see. See there? Okay. thing of it is, not like in movies, you, you have uh, sockets that can only hold one item okay whenever you add attachments uh, this here with Tavari you can add more than one attachment to a socket okay as many as you want that's what I like about uh, Tavari one of the things that I like about Tavari so now we need a face and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to packs uh, the default packs in the, that came with Tavari and um, let's see well, not that one we're going to go with this one well I keep anyway we'll do we'll go to here accessories and as you can see we got accessories here okay so uh, the thing of it is we need to give him a, a shirt let's give him a shirt let's see there we go now we got a shirt yes I have it set up to where you can paint separate parts of the uh, movie Z character so we're all good okay okay so let's find something we can put on our character let's give him a tie give him a tie I need to make a collar so on the tie we don't put it on the neck we put it on the body because we want the tie to stay in one place so we'll take that and we'll link it to the body we'll link it to that so that way you know it will stay in the place like so and that hair does need to it does need a little work let's see let's kind of move it a little bit all right good enough okay so we're going to give our character an ear some ears so we'll give them some ears just use the controller to size it up the way you want them once you get your ear done link it to the head bone and we'll get this ear with nice nice glasses get this here ear or here 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 <laughs> anyway so let's see we gotta make sure that ear is the same size and then we'll link it like so okay so we got our hair and ears now we need a nose now you can import your own nose your special little face feature pieces in yourself so it's like you can make your own custom character right here in Tavari. His nose is a little bit crooked. We'll leave it like that. So now we got his nose. Let's give his nose the same color. Like so there we go. Oh, and his ears. Yeah. And so now his ears matches his face. But that ear doesn't seem a little bit okay. His ears may be off. Oh well. Okay. Now we give him a a watch. 
let's shrink that watch down a little bit to fit his arm. Now, you notice how the watch isn't on a joint where normally the uh, attachment sockets would be on a regular MovieZoo character in MovieZoo. There's nothing there. They're, they're here. So in MovieZoo, it would actually be the joints that are that are the sockets. But on Tavari, no. You can just link it. Whoops. You can just link it to either one. This one or this one. But I'm going to go with the wrist. Well, I'll tell you what. Just to prove my point. Now watch this. Wait, wait a minute. So. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't link it, did I? Alright, so link. You gotta make sure that bone lights up. There we go. Now, well, I didn't link it. Let's see. No, it's not linking. Yeah, you, you'll know when it gets linked. Still not linking. It'll link. There we go. Now it's linked. You see how it? Now watch. See? It don't have to be on that certain joint. It can be anywhere on the uh, body. As long as you got it connected to the joint. Uh, one of the joints. It doesn't matter. Okay. So, with this, with that said, I can make a full body Iron Man armor suit and place it on this whole character. And it will stay as long as I get every little piece linked to certain parts of his body, either joints. So yeah, I can do a whole, uh, you know, armor Iron Man suit. Let's give this guy some pants. He's dying here. We'll give him long pants. Whoops! I don't know what happened. Okay. Oh, we'll give them shorts. I may have to go back and recalibrate that in the, in my modeler. Okay, so we got that. And if you want to give them a pocket or a badge, we'll give them a badge. And we'll put it right here on his chest. We'll put it right there. And we'll link it to... Whoops, I'm turning it. Yeah, it's frustrating sometimes but still it's excellent we'll just hook it up to that okay and we'll we'll paint that like so all right so now with that uh let's give them some glasses yeah i mean you can give them some eyes you can make some eyes with uh see you can make eyes let me show you let's see where are my Let's see. I'm trying to find my primitive boater. Let's see. Yeah, there it is, right there. So you can like you can make eyes. You can just take one ball there and you can take this right here. Or you can just do this right here. And you can just Stick it in there like so. Alright, and you can just take that. And you can link it to this. So it follows each other. Okay, and then you can just uh, take it, paint this one white. And then you can do this one brown. But what you could do is this. And then... Yeah, that way your eye will be, you know, your eye will be uh, all one piece. But we're not going to worry about eyes. So you can create your own eyes. We're just going to give them some glasses. Like so. Let me just make sure that these glasses are on right. And you can bring this ear 
right where you think it should be right there okay so we'll just link that to the neck bone or the head bone like so so let's see Yep, wrong one. And if you mess up, just reset pose. Alright. So now we got, let me bring these arms down a little here. And you can not make them so. And you see I have joints for the fingers and everything. So you got a character here and you can animate them. Uh, we've got shoes on. You can add shoes or whatever you want to. Um, let's give him a beard. Nah, we don't give him a beard. But you, you know what? You, you get what I'm saying. All right. And you can make a belt. You can add a belt to him or whatever. You know, however you want to do it. Okay. So I showed you this, I showed you that, and I showed you the uh, everything else. So uh, now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the timeline. And this is the timeline, okay? And it has a screen to it, so you can pretty much see. Well, you got to have a camera, though. So we don't have a camera. So we'll, we'll get to the camera in a little bit. So... So, now, here on the timeline, you got two different ways. You have real time or auto key. If you select real time and then select whatever you're, you, you have to make sure whatever you're going to animate is selected. So, and it will uh, appear right here, the boy. So, if I don't select, it goes away. But if I select him, he's added to the timeline. So, we got it on real time. So, let me show you what I'm talking about. So you just grab it, or you, wherever you want to animate, like the joints or the hands or whatever. But I'm just going to move him around all together. So you notice how the timeline moves? And if I play it back, but if thing of it is with the, with the real time though is it records every little thing every little shake in your hands which I don't like and there is where you can smooth it uh, I'm still working on that so anyway but I don't do it I usually just use keyframes you can use keyframes um, say like here you can see it pop there and you can move it down and then you can just up there and it'll just go back. Okay. All right. Oh, and in and, and the, uh, for the sun, too. Let's see. I'm going to try to make it, the sun bigger. Let's see. Put it to work. All right, so. The sun is bright, so we don't want it too bright. So it's like scaling. You just scale it to make it brighter or dimmer or whatever you want to do. Okay, now, as you can see, we have the sun, rotation, and the size. So if I move the sun right here, like so, you can see the time, the keyframe was added. And we'll just make it go up. And you can animate the time of day. So you play that back. Voila. Okay. So. With that said. That's how you animate with the keyframe. Which you can't delete anything unless you're out of keyframe. Or if it, it stops. So you got to be out of keyframe. Like so. So you can just. The, whoop. Well. So yeah, it's. Let me see. Delete animation. Put it to work. Oh, there. 
it was in, oh, I see, I had it in workspace. I had it added, I got it. Let's see. Anyway. All right, let's see what we got here. We'll take it off that. Now, let's see. Yeah, there it goes. All right. So, with the export, you can do uh, models. You can export your models. And say, like, you created something in here. You made your own little character. Right? You can export it in three formats here. And then you got your videos. And your videos, you're going to do... Uh, your videos imports as M MP4s, so yeah, and then you can select, you can make all the adjustments, and you can say with sound or without sound, and then you can do 360 videos as well. But we're going to go back to videos. All right, you can imp you can export VR experiences or just a, a viewer. So. Uh, so we got videos and then you just go to export when you push export you'll get messages saying take off your headset and wait for the export to finish on the computer and then you can play it back um, so forth okay and that's it on that with that now let's add the camera and I'll show you the camera so we'll go to effects oh not effects tools these are more tools so you got your atmosphere or uh, and by, uh, uh, ambience or whatever, and you can change all of that. Okay, and you got light, light bulbs, point lights or whatever. So yeah, you got your point lights and you got your spotlights, which you can change. Right. And this right here is your 360 camera. So, I'll explain all that later. And this is just, just a regular camera, just like movies we have. This is just, and you can animate these cameras as well. And you can see now, we have a camera up here to display. Alright. And then you got these tools here. You can adjust, make the adjustments with the cameras. Bloom, and then you can apply resolution. Export video with the settings, or, you know, so forth. Post processing, you can turn it on and off. You know, so that, yeah. And like I said, you can animate the camera. You can animate the camera. So, yeah. You know, You don't have to be a pro to, to animate with uh, Tavari. You don't have to be a pro at all. Um, I don't know where my son's at. It's just too bright. Uh, but it does take a little time to learn it. And to animate with it, it takes a little time. But it, it's easy. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of the set. I'm going to go to another. And I'm going to go to my TOG set. And then when you do it, I'll ask you to say save. You don't want to save. But that was just a mess around there. And this is, it shows you a screenshot of everything when it loads up. Until it loads up. Now, I'm sorry about the quality of my mic. If you can barely hear me, if my mic sucks, I apologize. Like I said, I'm having to use an external... <coughs> Excuse me. I have to use an external mic uh, headset along with... Because for some reason, I can't get uh, uh, my Oculus mic to work with OBS. Might be something I'm doing wrong. Now, to me, it seems a little laggy. So if it's laggy... To you, it's because I'm recording. Then again, it may not be laggy to you. <coughs> and this is the TOG set. This is my TOG set I created. Okay, and you got my dinosaur over here. Dinosaur, he hit TOG up in the air. 
the tr Triceratops caught him. And there he is. He's like, let's see. He's like, where did he go? Oh, he's right there. Okay, maybe I, I'm past it. Well, that's somewhere in the timeline. I have to go to the time, that part in the timeline to show you that. But th I just wanted to show you the tog set. This is what it looks like. Didn't take long to make. Only took me like 10 minutes to put all this together, believe it or not. Yeah. Oh, and there is that uh, Velociraptor right there. Yeah. But this is Tog. This is the Tog set. Let me show you Tog. It's over here. Da 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 da. Try it on a lot of times when it just does this, especially when you have a lot in one set and you're trying to open up something else. It does this. And again, may not even pop up. I'll give it a minute. So, but it does a three. There it goes. Okay. I'm going to go back. Let me find Tog. Tog voter right there. I'm going to go through this again. You got to remember, um, I'm, uh, i got a lot going on right now with this. Uh, so, yeah, when you open up one of your big sets, you do have a lot going on. And then when you try to open up another folder it uh, will do that to you okay so here's tog that's an eyelid by the way this is tog and all i have to do is place and this is his textures okay and then get the materializer out And we'll just apply the textures. And there he is. Now, if it looks too dark, you can just add some white to it. Make them look pale. Now, let's see. Hey, a little better. Anyway, too orange, though, maybe. But this is Tug. He's Tug. Yeah. Uh, anyway. See, what else did I want to show? Or... Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. I'm going to show you one last thing. And this is a feature I like. Let's just say you got three different or four different or how many different sets that you're using for one project. Uh, let's say like you got five sets that you're using for a project, but yet you want to use the same the same character and other sets. Uh, and without having to, uh, you know, import them into the scene every time. So what you could do is you got this transit called the transit and you can take your character all right and then you can place them on there that's the transit so if I close it out you think he's gone but no he is not I'll take that and let's go to this one right here, there's nothing there. Uh, but I'm going to... i tell you what. We'll, we'll, no, I don't want to go with that one. We'll just go back over here and load that one up. And we don't save. I mean, it does, just like movies, it does take time to load from one set to another. 
not too long depending on how big your set is and there's some of my dinosaurs that I used there's my T-Rex alright I haven't used him yet he's a baby one he's supposed to be Tog's uh, uh, pet but anyway so let me show you we'll get the transit and you can see there's Tog so we grab Tog and there's no waiting around to import them. That's cool. That's what I like about Tabari. Now, that's pretty much it for Tabari. Like I said, uh, it's a great alternative to MovieZoo. And you can also incorporate it with MovieZoo. Um, say like you did a set with some mountains or something like that. And you got a train that you, an you can animate the train. And what I like about that is if I, um, see, see, Star Wars, do I have anything? Nope. Let me see something here. Set. Let's see if I have anything. Camper. I'm supposed to have what is this? Oh, chair. Okay. So if I take Tog and I move him down to where he'll fit in that chair, let me give that chair some uh, texture. There are all these textures there. There we are. Now we're getting somewhere. Right there. Well, we gave that chair some textures. Let's just do that thing here. Uh, okay, so we got him some textures. And let's put Tog in a setting position. So, we'll take him and put him in the chair like so. Let's fix his arms. And we can take Tug and we can link him to the chair. So we pick the chair up. Or if we animate. Timeline. We can animate that chair. By selecting it. Okay. Uh, I'll stretch the timeline out a little bit. Okay, I guess I don't have no... Okay, so I can take the chair. Move the chair over here. And play it back. It's supposed to animate. Maybe because I got it set the way I have it set. But anyway, I don't have it set right for this. Your characters can ride cars and trucks and horses and stay along with it. And you, that's it. You can either animate the character or the chair that it's on. They'll both still move together. That's what I like about that. In movie zoo, you can't do that. Like you put a character in the car, you have to animate uh, a back a backdrop or something. That that's it. All right, that's pretty much it with Tavari. Um, just want to show everybody Tavari and how I think it's good and it works good with movies. 
you can use the two together um, like I'm doing for um, I like to say with Tog, I made Tog completely with this, but for um, the most ridiculous camp trip ever, I'm using Tavari and Movie Suit. Anyway, that's pretty much it on Tavari, so I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you found it helpful. Maybe it'll inspire you to get Tavari and then create with it, you know, if you do. Hey, I would like to see some stuff for that. Alright, well, that's pretty much it. I'm going to exit out and close my program okay and y'all have a blessed